Charles Dickens was born on February 7, 1812 in Portsmouth, England. Okay, he came from a very large family and he was one of the eight children. In 1824, his family faced great financial problem, so he had to stop his schooling. Being the eldest son, he had to start working at a factory. Okay, at the factory, he had to do manual work, and during that time, his father went to prison for debt. But as a child, he was a voracious reader and sharp observer of the changing English landscape in the towns and villages due to the Industrial Revolution. Okay, due to the Industrial Revolution, a lot of changes was happening in England during the time. So he was a keen observer of all the changes that took place. After his father was released from prison, Dickens continued his schooling and later worked as a clerk for a lawyer. He studied shorthand and became a court reporter, which was his first step towards becoming a full-time journalist with the Morning Chronicles. He created some of the world's best known fictional characters and is regarded by many as the greatest novelist of the Victorian era. Charles Dickens died on 9th June 1870. Hard Times is a 10th novel by Charles Dickens, which was first published in 1854. It is a novel of the Industrial Revolution, of the lives of men, women and children that were turned upside down by the demands of new age. Thomas Gradgrind is a wealthy retired merchant in Coketown, England. He later becomes a member of parliament. He is the father of five children whom he has taught to love just facts and to believe only in statistics. He has a philosophy of rationalism, self-interest and cold hard facts. He tries to raise his children Louisa, Tom, Jane, Adam and Malthus according to his beliefs. He is married to a simple-minded woman who believes his ideas and thinking, but later she begins to doubt his views. Louisa is Great Grant's daughter who later becomes Bounderby's wife. She is confused by the way she is trained and brought up since a child. She feels disconnected from her emotions and alienated from other people. Due to her father's strict system of education, she has been deprived of all joy since her childhood. She never really experienced the joy of childhood. She marries Bounderby to please her father even though she does not love him. She says the only person she loves completely is her brother, Tom. Thomas Gradgrind Jr. is the eldest son of Mr. Gradgrind. He is generally called Tom. He has been taught never to wonder, never to doubt facts, and never to entertain any vice or fancy, and was taught to respect authority. He works as an apprentice at Bounderby's bank, but later Tom loses control over himself and started to drink and gamble. He becomes a totally spoiled child who has gone astray. Josiah Bounderby is a friend of Thomas Gradgrind, who later became Louisa's husband. He is a wealthy middle-aged factory owner of Coketown. Bounderby claims to be a self-made and boastfully went around telling people that he had been abandoned by his mother as a young boy. He claimed that he had risen to become a banker and factory owner in Coketown from childhood poverty. But in reality, all that he said was a lie. Cecilia Jube, also nicknamed as Sissy, is a daughter of a clown who works at Slary's Circus. She has been taken by Gret Grind when her father disappeared. She represents the working class society. Unlike the Gret Grind's children, she is free to dream and imagine and therefore she adjusts more quickly to the changing industrial England. Mrs. Parsett is Bounderby's housekeeper who goes to live at the bank apartments after Bounderby marries Louisa. 
Okay, previously she lived with Mr. Bounderby, but after he married Louisa, she had to go and live at the bank apartments, which she was not very happy about. She once belonged to uh, a rich aristocratic family, but she fell on hard times after the collapse of her marriage. She was a selfish, manipulative, dishonest woman who tries to ruin Bounderby's marriage so that she can marry Mr. Bounderby. Stephen Blackpool is the main representative of the working class in the novel. He is an honest and hard-working man who works at Bounderby's factory. He is despised, made fun of, and shunned by his co-workers because he is too honest. He is married to a drunkard woman who left him, and he later falls in love with a woman at the factory. But Stephen cannot marry because the laws of England are for the rich, so he cannot divorce his wife as he needed money to get a divorce. Rachel is an honest, loving woman who is the lover of Stephen. James Harthouse is a sophisticated and manipulative young London gentleman who comes to Coketown to enter politics under the guidance of Gret Grind. He becomes attracted to Louisa and tries to seduce her. Mr. Macchow Comchild is an unpleasant teacher at Gret Grind's school. Mrs. Pegler is the mother of Mr. Bounderby. Jane Gradgrind is the younger daughter of Mr. Gradgrind. And we have other characters like Mr. Slurry, Bitzer, Mrs. Gradgrind, and Slackbridge.